Okay, sorry, I had an interruption. But at any rate, um, my hair is really soft, loved it, did really well with it. Now, I don't know if you've ever used fresh aloe before. Um, I had not. I know that it does not taste very good uh, when I make it in a smoothie or something like that. But I don't think I've ever really smelled it, smelled it. And I have a very sensitive nose and it does not smell that good. So the next time I use aloe, I'll probably try to maybe use uh, mix it up in the blender to do like the gel, the aloe vera gel versus just using out a plant. Um, what I did was cut the plant, cut it in half and basically just rubbed it on my hair. Um, maybe I'll do a tutorial kind of show you what I did and how I did that but yeah so next time I'll make sure to maybe add some drops of some essential oils or something to kind of help with the smell and that's just a personal thing you may not smell it but I did and then I've noticed like as the week went on the smell of my locks I did not like and I've never had any um, issues with um, with the scent of my locks you know um, so I, um, I'm going to wash it again and so I'm going to try, like I said, mixing it up in the blender and possibly putting um, some essential oils in there to see if that would help. Um, other than that, I really liked it. I liked the fact that it wasn't necessarily a product and um, because I try to do more natural things if I can. And it was quick, it was simple, it wasn't difficult to use. So I enjoyed it, I like how my hair felt and I felt like it was moisturized and everything. So we will see how that works and the next time I promise I will even take a picture and do a video. I'm so bad at that, but I'm gonna work on it. So, um, but I also wanna talk about today that you know this month is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and I went to an event over the weekend called Stand Up and Speak Out. It was a great event. Um, it was actually in Bartow, Florida. Um, if you're not familiar with Florida, you probably don't know where Bartow is, but um, it was a little small town. Uh, but the ladies did a wonderful job putting it together. Um, so I wanted to say that, you know, there were so many women that were there that were hurting. And um, I know domestic violence doesn't just um, stick with women. There are men and young boys and young girls who are affected as well. So um, my main thing is that we have to be mindful of what's going on around us with the people that we're in contact with. Um, one young lady uh, told her story about how she was abused in her relationship and um, she ran outdoors and her clothes were disheveled and torn and her hair was kind of messed up and um, the people that were in her apartment complex did nothing nobody called the police nobody you know checked on her and so when we see things like that when we experience things like that we have to be good citizens um, we have to have a heart and kind of you know help the person um, you may not want to get into a physical altercation, but you could at least call 911 or at least console the person. So my thing is that we have to be mindful. I think a lot of times we're caught up in our own lives and we miss the signs of when people are actually hurting, whether it be your coworker or a family member or a child or something like that. So um, I just want us to be more mindful. Um, and not be afraid to stand up and help. And, and, and as the um, slogan was, stand up and speak out, to stand up and speak out. Um, even if you have gone through some um, situations on your own, um, a lot of times the things that you share with people will help them get through what it is that they're going through. So we can be a blessing to anybody by just being there to listen or to even share um, our experience and how we made it through. And the one thing I found interesting, um, there were a panel of women and most of them that talked talked about how it was because of God's grace that they were able to make it through. And it's so interesting because sometimes um, when we go through trials or when we go through um, horrific events we turn our back on um, on God if you believe in God uh, so I thought it was admirable for them to still have that faith that they have um, in spite of what had occurred in their lives so um, as we go throughout this this month of domestic violence awareness um, you know moms dads talk to your children um, 
aunts, uncles, grandparents, you know, talk to those that are around you. If you have gone through some things, you know, um, first work on yourself. That's a, one thing that came out is that we, and that, that that's for everybody, that we need to work on ourselves first. Um, we need to learn how to forgive people. And that's a hard thing to do when um, something traumatic has happened to you. It's a very difficult thing to for, to forgive the person that actually did that to you. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's a process. Um, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. And it may not even happen in a year. But forgiveness is not for the other person. Forgiveness is for you. Um, because when you let go of the things that are um, harboring in your heart, the hatred and the anger, when you let those things go, then you're free. Um, you're free to heal. And it's it's not just um, a mental healing, but it's also a physical healing as well. Because a lot of the anger and the stresses that we carry can manifest themselves as a physical ailment. You go to the doctor, you don't know what's wrong, and a lot of times it's stress or something that you're harboring. So again, forgiveness is not um, for the other person. The forgiveness is for us. So I just want to encourage um, anybody out there who has gone through um, an event, um, who is going through an event, um, who knows someone who has gone through an event, encourage you to be bold and to stand up if necessary, or even encourage you to reach out and get help. That's one thing that, you know, we don't know a lot of the resources that are around in the cities and or in your community that can help someone that is in that situation. So um, find out what those are. Um, share it with other people. Be an encourager to someone. Um, smile at a young lady or a young man that, you know, may look a little sad because sometimes that smile is the only smile that they'll receive throughout the day and it'll make a world of difference um, in their lives. So just wanted to encourage everybody today. I know it's a kind of deep topic, but, you know, and just be mindful of this month and um, stand up and speak out. I, I love that. I'm not trying to steal their tagline or anything, but I just love that to stand up and, and, and speak out. Um, I had a, another young lady wrote a book called Shattered the si Shattering Silence. Here, I have it with me here. Yeah. Shattering the Silence. Um, I think it's Ayana Thomas um, actually wrote this book. Um, she sells them for $10 and it kind of tells about her story. So it's a lot of, like I said, it's a lot of people that are out there hurting. Um, you know, we all have been through something to where we're hurting and we might be getting over it or going through it. So um, just be a, a shoulder for somebody else. And sometimes as you help someone else, then you'll gain some strength and you'll be healed as well. So that's all I have to say today. Toodles to you all. Hopefully I'll have another video out to you next week. Um, but if I don't, bear with me. All right. So take care. Um, click below again. Like if you like this video. If you have questions, comments, um, anything, you know, leave those below. I look forward to um, reading them. And that's it. So have a great one. Talk to you soon. Bye.